Okay, so I'm going to be taking down my twist today, and I got this from the beauty supply store. It's a pre-shampoo detangler. It's by Just For Me. It's supposed to help you detangle and minimize shedding and things like that. You rinse it out, and then you shampoo your hair. Um, this is what it looks like. I'll probably record a video if you want a full review. I have not used it yet, but this is what it looks like. African Pride has one like this, but I just grabbed this one, so let me know. I took like the first row down and applied a little bit to it. It's very, very slippery. Very slippery. I'm gonna do um a, I'm gonna do some up closer in the front, but it was just it's kind of hard for me to do this and see in the back so I'm gonna my relaxed hair it's not my natural hair it's I hit the tangles when I get to my relaxed hair and even when I try to start from the bottom up I'm still hitting like tangles but like when I go to my roots I have no problem until I get to my relaxed hair and then the tangles are there so when transitioning the relaxed hair is definitely um, what's causing the the hair to be more tangled than it needs to be. Cause I feel like if it was just the natural hair right here, so when I comb it out, I'm okay until I get to the relaxed hair. The relaxed hair still has tangles in it. I'm going to continue to do that going upward and I'm going to come back when I get to like the front of my hair. But this works. It works. It's just the relaxed hair is giving me the tangles. But like the, the natural hair is going through it no problems. Literally no problems. My goal is to make it to 12 months. I'm currently six months. So you can even, like you can see all the thickness around here and then like my relaxed hair hanging down. Like all this up in here, natural, super thick.
Okay, so this is actually the next day. I got lazy and I'm not even gonna say I got lazy, but I knew that wash day was gonna take a while. So I de took my hair down and detangled yesterday. Just put my bonnet on with the sleep and I woke up to a lot of buildup. So this is a product that you definitely want to wash it out after you get done detangling it. Because if you don't, you're gonna have all this little uh, caked up buildup. And um, I'm just really hoping that that's not hard to get out. So the product did good, it did its job, but do not leave this in overnight and do not use it as like a, um, like a moisturizer, like you're gonna like detangle your hair and do a twist out or something like that or a braid out, no. Literally just use it to detangle and rinse it right out because this, I got like really, really bad residue everywhere. Okay, so I ended up using these two shampoos right here. I shampooed first with the Silk Elements and then I shampooed with the Olive, um, the African Pride. Once I shampooed with the African Pride, I detangled in the shower with um, a shower cone. I just have this this little wrap on my hair to waiting for it to kind of dry a little bit. And I think that's the longest that I've ever been in the, the shower. This is my first time um, washing my hair in the shower. I broke down and did it, I didn't want to do it, but I probably spent about, to me it seemed like it was like 30 to 40 minutes in there, shampooing my hair really good, detangling it, and now I'm gonna leave this on here. I'm gonna go eat, and then, um, I'm gonna go eat and then I'm gonna start back on my hair. I'm gonna blow dry it and then I'm gonna go from there. So this has actually been on my head for, I know over an hour. So I'm kinda scared to see what's under here. Okay. So this is what we're working with. That shampoo did good. That. It did really well, both of them together. But I think that Silk Elements is what helped to get all of that build up. And then the African Pride is like a moisturizing shampoo. So I'm gonna get ready to blow dry. You can see my texture really starting to come through. And the, the relaxed hair is starting to look more and more stringy. More and more stringy. So I'm gonna put this over my entire head. This is the silk, this is the cream of nature with argan oil leave-in conditioner. I've been using this for years. Um I like that this has protein in it. It's a light protein, but it just helped to reinforce um strength. I love using it with my relaxed hair. And now that I'm transitioning, I think it's still good because of that line of demarcation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and detangle the ends of my hair first. I leave the roots to last. Like I learned that um, after my first few wash days, I'm not trying to go all the way to the roots right now. I wait until I get my hair sectioned out for that. But like since like 80% of my hair is still relaxed. I can kind of just comb through the ends. Then I can start taking it through the roots a section at a time. All right, now that I have my relaxed hair detangled, I'm just going to kind of take it row by row. I'm going to part out a small row right here and I'll probably skip the video here and there because blow drying is a process. But just showing you the process that I'm using, I'll start with this bottom row. Okay, I'm going to twist this up and put a little clamp on it. Okay. 
that way I can focus on blow drying this area down here. All right, so I'm gonna be using this right here. This is the Proclaim. The olive oil version is a spray on glosser. So it's, it's supposed to help with frizz and also detangling and also a heat protectant. So it's very light. And one of my favorites is the Silk Elements. I'm spraying it on my hands first because I want to be in control of where it goes and how much it's going. So I feel like I have a little more control. The Silk Elements one, I, I really like that one. I'm just a product junkie, so I'm always switching back and forth in between stuff. So I had saw this one at Sally's and decided to try it out. But the silk elements in the green bottle, the olive oil is a staple. Get that heat protector. All right, so I'm just gonna comb this out to detangle. All righty. I'm gonna set this on the hottest temperature with the medium blower. I mean, well, it's a low and high blower. I'm gonna set it on the low blower with the highest heat. So I'm just gonna repeat that process over my entire head section by section, row by row, and I will come back once I get towards the front of my hair. Okay, so this is my hair blow dried. It took me about a good 30 minutes, which I'm surprised because it usually, um, when I first started transitioning and was trying to figure out a routine and what to do, it took me, like the first time I did it, it took me, um, I think it was like, like literally two or three hours. And then I got it down to an hour and a half. And now, well, this is just the blow drying stuff right here, but the blow drying stuff usually takes me like an hour, but it just took me 30 minutes this time. So as you can see, my hair is very, it's still very thick, still very voluminous. Um, I'm gonna be trying my ends soon, but it's still really puffy because my roots, my roots are just thick, y'all. Y'all don't be understanding. Yeah, I was wondering why I was getting doing relaxers every four to six weeks, baby. Because <laughs> I'ma turn around in the back, y'all can see what it looks like. I I actually love the thickness of my hair. I used to think it was a curse, but I I love the thickness of my hair. Like I do. Let me show you what the back looks like. My ends actually still look really good. They don't look too bad at all. They don't look bad at all, but I still just do a little mini, mini dusting here and there. So that is my wash day and the product review that was at the front. So let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know what you think about the product. Let me know what you think about my wash day. Another thing that I meant to say is that um, I think what helped is washing my hair in the shower. I didn't want to admit it because like I was definitely against washing my hair in the shower. 
Um, I did not like doing that, the idea of that. And it's been so many years since I've done it, but I decided to try it again. Shout out to Jamie for encouraging me to try it again. So I tried it and what I did was um, I shampooed it in the shower and I detangled in the shower. And I think me detangling it while it was in the shower and I had the shampoo on it, that helped me to skip a lot of detangling once I got out of the shower and I got to the blow drying step. That helped a lot because it was, it was like pretty much like 70 to 80% already still detangled and it was all still going down because you know i usually like to wash my hair over in the sink like this so my hair is going this way and i had to get out and then detangle it downwards but my hair is already going down like this so that helps a lot um i just try to get tips as i go with each video but i'm six months post relaxer i've made it i'm excited I'm gonna keep going. My goal is 12 months post relaxer before I do a chop. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thanks for watching.